59 matters have been traversed to the September Assizes, while five matters are awaiting sentencing, including the case involving Stephen Crony, who was found guilty of non-capital murder in May. During Wednesday's closing ceremony, senior prison officer Elvin Sylvester provided a breakdown of the prison population, which comprises 372 inmates, including three females, 10 non-nationals, and 28 inmates receiving treatment for mental conditions. He informed the court that the current physical structure of the prison continues to pose challenges, highlighting the authorities' inability to separate seasoned inmates from first-timers and young offenders, as well as mentally challenged inmates from the general population. Attorney Jerry Edwin took issue with what he described as an outstanding problem, stating that the prison is not a place for vulnerable persons. He threatened to withhold his services from the court if substantial actions are not taken to address the issue. The vulnerable suffer in prison, whether you're young, whether you're old, or if you are in particular a mentally challenged inmate. For the last decade since I've been here, Mr. Cloud, I've heard this cry for reform of the prison to remove mentally challenged inmates within the Richmond Hill prison. Well, those words have fallen on deaf ears because nothing, literally nothing has been done except for a lot of talk. The lack of relevant technology in the judiciary was also highlighted. Edwin emphasized the dire need of modern technology in Grenada's judicial system, pointing to the absence of screens in the courts. Well, here in Grenada, we have no screens. We have no courtroom stenographers. The court made reference to uh, my appearance before the Court of Appeal on an am amicus matter last week, where a man spent five years without getting a transcript. The technology exists so that a transcript can be given to the lawyers at the end of the day. It is not even 1500 US dollars for that technology. Instead, we see our courts and our magistrates practicing Form 5 penmanship. The magistrate has a pen and a notebook. Can you imagine what would happen to the smooth administration of justice if those notebooks are lost? Similar to what happened in the Treasury during Hurricane Ivan. According to Edwin, the court recording legislation, which was recently passed in Parliament, does not cover the use of technology in the courts. Neither has it done anything to improve the condition of advocacy in these courts. As the judicial and prison systems face scrutiny, calls for reform and modernization continue to grow, with legal professionals and authorities alike advocating for improvements to ensure justice and humane treatment for all. Reporting for GBN News, I'm Nisha Paul.